We're gonna make something fun today, so stay right where you are. Hey everybody, welcome back to This Printed Thing. My name's Mike, and for a while now, I've been wanting to make a candy dispenser using a mason jar and 3D printed parts. But life gets in the way, work gets in the way, well, today's the day. There are lots of models on printables.com that say that they'll work with the mason jar, so let's see what we can build. So I found this model here on printables.com, and I read through the notes, and what I don't like about it is it says that you can only dispense one peanut M&M at, at a time. I mean, how much fun is that? I mean, what's the point of even eating peanut M&Ms if you can only eat one of them? Who eats only one? So I did a little bit of searching and I found another model that was based on this model here. In fact, they even make reference to it. And so this is the one I'm going to try and print. So now I'm here in Bamboo Studio because I'm going to print this on my Bamboo X1 Carbon. And let's pull our body in. And I typically like to print functional parts in PETG. So let's switch to filament 4, which is PET G. And I don't usually print in PET G because, well, most of what I print is toys and things like that. So a lot of times I'll, I'll print in PLA. I only have two colors of PET G. One of them is orange and one of them is white. Normally you'd see these little gumball machines in like red and silver, but we're going to make it orange and white. So we're going to change it to 0.2 millimeter layer height. I could probably go a little higher, but let's not. Let's just do 0.2 millimeter. And we're going to give it a little bit more infill. I usually go 15%, but when I print with PET G, I like to go a little higher. So let's say like 25%. And we'll slice it. And even on the Bamboo X1 Carbon, it's going to take almost 12 hours to print, so we better get this thing started. So here we are, it's another day. This took quite a while to print and then I got busy, had to print some stuff from my customers so my printers were tied up. I guess what that means is I need more printers. But here we are with our three parts, uh, four if you include the uh, mason jar. And that's what really caused me to gravitate towards this was its simplicity. Just three parts plus one part that you had to provide yourself. Now, I will say, if you're gonna print this yourself, this pen, you need to make sure that you print 1% um, smaller, so at 99%. I printed it first at 100%, and the whole tolerance, well, there isn't any. I, I had a hard time getting this in there, so I printed it at 99% on the X and Y. I still left the Z because it's still gotta go all the way through, but 99% on the X and Y, slides right in. Now there's not a whole lot of guidance as to how this is supposed to gather, but from what it looks like, this little pin goes into the hole here at the end here, and it's a little bit of a snug fit, so it'll kind of hold the pin in. I guess if I wanted to, I could 
use a little bit of super glue to put it in there because what I think needs to happen is that this these parts here show it on the other camera these parts here need to come out the back of our device but for right now I'm just gonna or actually you know what Okay, so that tolerance there is real tight, so that will probably hold it in place. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the, uh, the clippy part of the pin in here and hope it doesn't break. Eh, 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 eh. There we go. And then that spins freely. Now we're going to shove it in here and push it all the way in so that the pin, this pin comes out there because that's a real snug fit and now and when we put our mason jar on top screw that in see where we're going with this so now we're missing one thing All right, so here we go. Moment of truth. Hey, we got three. Can we get more? Nope. Three is the number. Hey, it's better than one. So that's it. A thing that I didn't know that I needed. Hey, maybe that's what I'll call this series. Things that you didn't know you needed any dang way. Thanks for watching, and if you like content about 3D printing, be sure and subscribe. And until next time, fire up those 3D printers and make something awesome.